first thing is, why are you winding yourself up and then having time to unwind yourself? What is the point of winding yourself up and then unwinding? Well, as a human being, uh, uh, because the physical body has certain limits of what it can do and cannot do, maybe sometimes you need rest. But why do you think it is downtime? It's part of the maintenance for the next course of action. All right. So this unwinding business has become very popular. Everybody is talking about uh, unwinding, detoxing and whatever. First of all, why are you to so toxic and then you want to de detox yourself? <laughs> you are eating wrong, you're thinking wrong, your emotions are wrong and you toxed up and now you want to detox. You wind yourself up and then you want to unwind. Winding yourself up is a crime and unwinding. Now, amount of time and energy it takes to unwind. And how do you unwind? I know what are all the methods to unwind people are using. <laughs> No, you don't have to wind yourself up or unwind. This is why I'm saying why your purpose is important is if your purpose is really burning in your heart, activity is not burdensome. Activity will never be burdensome. You will know the joy of action because it's not burdensome. It's always you're looking for an opportunity. You are not looking for an opportunity to rest. You are looking for an opportunity to be on. And uh, when I use the word on, let's understand this. You're alive. That means you're on. You're off means you know what it means. No, no, we don't want that to happen right away. So uh, life is about being on. A time will come to go off. After that, you can't switch on again. It's done. So when it's on, never think of on and off. It's on, on and on. Because Life is about being on. Let me remind you, all of you, many of you thinking, how much should I do? How much should I not do? See, these questions will come up only if you don't have a purpose to fulfill. A purpose which is larger than yourself, if you don't have it in your heart, then always the calculations of what should I do? What should I not do? <laughs> there is a <laughs> saying in Kannada, Hena bidru egal kodal vante. <laughs> Even when somebody is dead, four people have to carry. In that, three people will be taking the load. One guy will be just pretending to go. Okay, not really giving his shoulder. <laughs> so, he thinks he's smart. No, he's not smart. He's stupid. He's missing out the whole experience of life. So if you, there is no such thing as on and off, you're on. When you're exhausted, you will anyway fall down and you will get up when you're rejuvenated, all right? So don't plan all these unwinding plans. When you're exhausted, uh, you fall dead and you come awake again. Okay, <laughs> that's how life should be.